Hello everyone. This is the latest news today. Patrick Lyoya's parents say Michigan cop killed him like an animal. Shattered relatives of the young black father fatally shot by a Michigan police officer want the cop to be fired and prosecuted, insisting Patrick Lyoya was killed like an animal during a traffic stop. Lyoya, a 26-year-old native of the Democratic Republic of Congo, was shot in the back of the head by a white officer while face down on a patch of grass on April 4 during a struggle over the cop's taser in Grand Rapids. Lyoya's grieving parents, Peter and Dorcas Lyoya, who took their six children from Congo to escape unrest in 2014, called for the officer to be identified prosecuted and terminated during an emotional press conference Thursday, the Washington Post reported. My life has come to the end, Peter Lyoya said through an interpreter. My life was Patrick, my son. I was thinking that Patrick would take my place. And to see that my son has been killed like an animal by this police officer, and to see this video they showed, I see that I have no life thought. Grand Rapids Police Chief Eric Winstrom has released four videos of the fatal encounter that began when Lyoya, who was unarmed, was stopped for driving a car with a license plate that didn't team match the vehicle. One clip showed Lyoya exiting the car, ignoring the officer's commands, and trying to flee. He then tried to grab the cop's stun gun during a struggle that lasted about 90 seconds before he was shot after the officer ordered him to drop the taser. Comma footage shows. The unidentified officer, a seven-year department veteran, has been placed on paid leave as state investigators probe the shooting. Lyoya's family was joined Thursday by prominent civil rights attorney Ben Crump, who said the footage clearly showed the officer displayed unnecessary and excessive use of force during the encounter. And his mother and father and their family are asking that the state attorney charge him to the full extent of the law for killing their son, for breaking their hearts for making his young children orphans, Crump told reporters Thursday. Equal justice requires it thought. Hundreds of protesters descended upon Grand Rapids Police Headquarters after department officials released footage of the deadly traffic stop Wednesday. Demonstrators chanted Black Lives Matter and named the killer cop during the peaceful but pointed rally, the Washington Post reported. Dorcas Lyoya, meanwhile, said she thought her family could finally breathe easy after escaping war and persecution in Africa upon arriving in the U.S. eight years ago, according to the Detroit Free Press. They told us that in America, there is peace, there is safety, you are not going to see killing anymore, that it was basically a safe haven, she said through a translator. The parents, mourning the loss of their firstborn son and father of two, then shifted their attention back to the unnamed officer who shot him, saying he was supposed to be protecting Patrick. I didn't he believe that there is a genocide in this country, Peter Lyoya said. I didn't he know that here in America, there can be execution style to be killed by the police officer. The Lyoyas said Thursday they plan to file a lawsuit in connection to the deadly shooting, likely in federal court, according to the Washington Post. That's the end of the news. Thank you for your watching. Please subscribe, like and share videos. Have a nice day to all.